in case. Patrick took over this patient and now he wants me to sign off on a new course of treatment. You're not sure to work? I'm not sure I can talk to him. Huh. Listen. I'm a sex addict and everyone here knows it. If I can look the male staff in the eye and be professional, you can handle one ex-boyfriend. I just saw Patrick doing notes in the lounge. So we brunch at my place in a half hour. I'm making my famous omelets with salsa. You bring the dessert. All right. I still have a diagnostic and a patient in recovery to check up on. A patient that's doing very well, by the way, thanks to your able assistance in the OR. Ah, and brunch is your way of saying thanks. Yeah, well, something like that, yeah. Well, you're going to have to do better than omelets and salsa. Ah, uh, so you haven't tried my omelets yet? Uh, I prefer some fast action on the floor, you know. Your racetrack, a rematch. I'm feeling competitive. Okay, okay, but fair warning. I beat you the first time, and I'm not going to take it any easier on you in the rematch. Bring it. I intend to. Wow. Awfully cocky. <laughs> it's the only way to play. You are so busted. I can't help myself. Patrick was asking Layla to brunch at his house. She was saying yes, and their cheesy banter was going back and forth. Not that it bothered you. I was standing there like some teenager spying on her ex-boyfriend at a dance, and I, I, I'm done. That is the lowest I am going to sink. The first step in dealing with an addiction is to admit you have a problem. Patrick and I were the problem. We're basically incompatible. We face that head on, and we've dealt with it. Mm-hmm. Did I go into a tantrum when I saw them together? Well, am no. I completely calm and composed right now? Yeah. Yes, I am a professional. I'm a mature adult. It took me by surprise, that's all. Robin, uh, can I speak to you about the priestess patient? Yeah, I just looked at your notes. I'm not convinced that your course of treatment is the best option. Yeah, actually, Layla picked up on something that could change the diagnosis. Would you stop with Layla? I mean, if you want her, go for it. Do her in every room of your apartment, for all I care. Just don't throw her in my face. The patient speaks very little English. She's Iranian. Layla was able to speak to her in Farsi. The patient told Layla her symptoms that could possibly change the outcome. If you could take a look, that'd be great. Excuse me. Oh no, you don't have a problem. Run these blood comparisons when you get a chance, will you? Sure, Dr. Scorpio. He's new. Don't even think about it. I'm allowed to look, just not touch. Although one has a nasty habit of leading to the other. How are you doing? Still humiliated. Thanks for asking. Yeah, you can't expect to just snap your fingers and get over Patrick. The truth is, I'm so crazy in love with Patrick and I miss him all the time. But it doesn't change the fact that I want children and he doesn't. There's no middle ground on that one. Right, and I'm not going to give up my dream of being a mother just to be with her. Then it's simple. Go find a guy that wants the same things you do. And let Patrick be what he is. A painful learning experience. I'm one of those women that can't separate sex from motion. If I sleep with a guy, it means I like him. A lot. So look for a new guy to date. <sighs> I don't know. I can't see myself embarking on a quest to not only find a man who will love me, but want to father a child. It just seems like way too much pressure to put on a relationship before it's even started. Especially given my HIV status. So what are your choices? You could be a single mom. Have a baby on your own. Maybe that's what I've been wanting all along. Maybe I don't even want a boyfriend. Maybe I just want a baby.